This is the fifth video in the Front Style Speed Combo tutorial series. I'll be teaching you the concept of boings from a split bottom out. Now, a boing is when the yo-yo is bouncing in between two parallel strings, whether it be vertically or horizontally. And you'll see that all of these tricks that we're going to show are variations of the trick boingy boing. So if you haven't mastered boingy boing yet, you really need to make sure you have that down as all these variations are really going to utilize the momentum that the trick boingy boing creates. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the trick known as over under boingy boing, which looks like this. As you can see, I'm using the momentum of the boingy boing to pass the yo-yo above and under my index finger on my non-throw hand. And to achieve this, all you're doing is when the yo-yo's momentum is pushing away from you, you're going to drop the yo-yo below your index finger and let it come back towards you and use the momentum when it's coming back again to pull it above your finger and then set it on the other side as it goes away again. You can start this momentum nice and slow and you want to slowly build it up faster and faster. That way it looks nice and smooth. Now, another useful transition to get out of split bottom mount, um, back into split bottom mount using boing boing, um, looks like this. And to do this, what you're doing is you're sending the yo-yo outside of the split bottom mount from the back string, but you're staying inside of your arm still, and then you land the yo-yo into the front string of the split bottom mount in order to continue the momentum of uh, boing boing. You can see I'm using my thumb to separate the gap between split bottom and make it a little bit easier to hit the strings too. And you'll also notice you're no longer in split bottom mount and if I were to drop this, it's actually a green triangle and you might get an axle knot from this. So make sure not to drop it and get out of this mount before you do. And to get out of it, you're simply just going to do the inverse of what you did to get in. So you'll start from the uh, front string and you'll swing out the back, around the whole formation, back onto the back string and you're back in split bottom mount. Now, a harder and more advanced variation of boing boings um, utilizes passes and they're called protrusions and they look like this. And to do this what you're going to do is start with your thumb up and you're going to make a chopstick kind of shape with your non-throw hand and similar to the over under boing you're going to start with the yo-yo over your thumb and you're going to use the momentum to drop the yo-yo uh, in between your thumb and your fingers like so and then when the yo-yo is coming back you're going to tilt your thumb down and use the momentum to pull the yo-yo back out through and land back into a split bottom mount. And this one is pretty tricky, so it does take a lot of practice to utilize the momentum of the boingy boing and moving your thumb up and down to underpass the yo-yo with the chopsticks formation. So try taking these new boing concepts and finding places in your own combos where the strings are parallel. That way you can help set the tempo for your trick and you'll be even further in expanding your trick set to make the ultimate front style speed combo. This is the fifth video in the Front Style Speed Combo tutorial series. This is the fifth video in the 